the Internet of Things, or the IoT, is the promise of an infrastructure that empowers us, humans, to collect wide variety of data about the real world. Connecting physical things to the, the Internet opens up a whole new range of business model opportunities. However, the IoT is not the only necessary ingredient for product service systems that sustainably provide value to people, the society, and our planet. This pile of connected bikes in China is one of the many failed examples. This new context expands the role of designers. Design is becoming a never-ending process. Motto of the circular economy, this process is actually touching all industries. Beyond the primary use, products need to be updatable and upgradable. Second, there are many more materials available. Data materials are the main purpose of the Internet of Things and the Internet. 3D printers open up a landscape of digitally produced materials, expanding design of manufacturing. Living materials grow out of organic substances with unique set of dynamic properties. Finally, there are also more design qualities, such as transparency of a system, fairness of an algorithm, energy self-sufficiency of a device, or scalability of a system. I'm Jackie from the Data-Centric Design Lab here at Delft. In this video, we will explore how the Internet of Things is changing your role as a designer, influencing the realm of your responsibilities. For this purpose, I will use the IoT Design Manifesto as a structure. A big thanks, of course, to the team who digested and assembled these 10 fundamentals. And I really encourage you to visit the living document at iotmanifesto.org. For each statement, I will stress the underlying problem and suggest an action for you as a designer. I will provide a few leads towards how to achieve this. So first, the market of product service systems is flooded with things so-called smart that can connect to the internet. In most cases, these are technology pushes because we can do it. It is not enough to use the seasonal ingredients, the latest fashion technologies to create sustainable design value. Cloud connection, blockchain, machine learning, age computing, all these are breakthrough te technologies offering opportunities to solve concrete challenges. However, like all technologies, they come with a wide range of limitations, overheads and drawbacks. Choose your design ingredients purposefully so that you can ensure it meets the intended design qualities. Work together with experts to map opportunities and challenges. Carefully build selection criteria and evaluation metrics. Experience feasibility and the added value of the technology. As a designer, you are the architect of a product service system. The Internet of Things is a tool to gather data, insights to precisely inform design challenges, understand people's needs through their behavior, and evaluate design solutions. This data is a new material, which completes your design palette along other data generation tools, such as interviews and co-creation sessions. Master data literacy and the technological vocabulary to effectively use these new tools. This includes the basics of programming and data analysis, definition of metrics, and also evaluation techniques. A design solution can only be sustainable when all stakeholders extract value out of it. This value can take many forms, but you are gambling if you do not uncover what it is for each stakeholder. Connect with all stakeholders to understand what they value. Keep in mind that values are not only economical. For example, value-sensitive design offers an approach to investigate more values in the technological context with multiple stakeholders. 
Security is a balance between the value to protect and the cost of protecting. It means that systems are never 100% secured. So the effort and risk required to break down this security layer must be higher than the value to extract from your system. However, like on this beach, you are the surveillance making an informal statement saying, trust me, I have taken care of your security for this product service system. Be aware of this trade-off. Be explicit about your design decisions. As prototype or beta or MVPs make design a never-ending process, do not compromise on security. Make sure to address the three corners of the IoT security, namely the hardware, the communication, and the cloud elements. Keep in mind that your product might not play an important role on the network, like a connected coffee maker, for instance, but hackers will always invade a network via the weakest point in the system. The IoT Enable continues data collection of human activities. Among those activities, many are legal, but not necessarily to be public. These are intimate behaviors. In this context, privacy is dynamic and personal. Foresee potential intimate data and take concrete action to protect them. A simple location tracking already reveal how often you go to the bathroom, how much time you spend at work, or what are your favorite activities in town. Do all stakeholders have an intelligible access and control of their personal data? Do they understand what is collected and what information can be extracted? Take care of privacy in collaboration with ethics committees, legal advisors, and ICD departments. You probably heard about data being the new oil. This comparison certainly reflects the impact data has on our society and, like oil, it needs refinement before any use. Careful here, though. That might be the only resemblance. Data is not a finite resource. There is no shortage and we can reuse data endlessly without depletion. So be an active designer of data. Through your design decision, You choose what and how much data is collected, which source it comes from, and to who it is made available. You can also control its quality according to your design needs and requirements. Far from this incandescent light bulb, internet-connected devices hide many things in the background. For your morning routine, information is flowing dynamically between servers of multiple companies to let your smart speaker learn to recognize your voice, fetch the news, digest your emails, and report on the quality of your sleep. Advocate for intelligible materialization of what's behind the scene. It is not about flooding end users with information they do not have time to read nor ability to understand. With your expertise, what are the key information you believe users should be aware of? We already mentioned privacy and the abundance of data. Today, if data was under the control of each end user, we might well end up in a data scarcity, not having access to data anymore. If you believe in a future in which users are masters of their own domain, then empower them to engage into data donation. Do not base your product service system on the exploitation of intimate data. Engage users in your design process so that they understand the value of donating data. What alternative do they have to use your service without sharing data? Are these fair options within the context of what your end users value? And what can you do with this data? Do you use it to your end user benefits? Make this purpose of use very tangible. In this fast-paced society, 
design is not only about creating but cleaning after ourselves. It is very easy to discontinue a service, but the physical touch points remain, now deprived of smartness, of a key functionality, or even of any usefulness at all. End users are left powerless with non functioning devices, a so called IoT abandonware, expanding our production of electronic waste. Design the technological and economical models for time resilience. Do you need a digital twin, maybe? A data model manufactured at the same time as the physical part of the product to ensure that digital and physical entities remain connected at all time? Or should you switch to a circular model to keep control over the physical devices at all time? As we see, the IoT expands the potential impact of designers. A never-ending design process brings more responsibilities, but also the opportunity to acknowledge mistakes and strive to correct them. Realize your power, measure your impact, and take your responsibilities. The IoT is again a tool that can help you monitor your impact, observing whether your design solution address the targeted problem and act accordingly. To wrap up, as a responsible IoT designer, you do not need to be expert on everything, but you must have the skills and knowledge to make active and deliberate design decisions. The IoT unlocks many exciting technological opportunities, your role as a designer is to use it purposefully to deliver sustainable value.